with us today, who's done a great job uh, leading our offense, continues uh, to improve and develop, and then our Mike linebacker, Gerald Monroe, a uh, very smart, sticky player that does a great job with our defense, and that's, uh, that's the opening statement, as captivating as it was. <laughs> All right, gather around, we'll do interviews with Coach and the student athletes. Good, how are you doing? Mike, do you remember a time in any other conference when there was such a good group of quarterbacks in one setting? This conference is loaded. I was trying to think, there was a time in the Big 12 that there were a bunch of quarterbacks, and then, uh, well, let's see. In the SEC at one time, it was uh, Tim Couch, Peyton Manning, and Danny Warfel. That was a kind of impressive. But I, and then um, it wasn't in the Big 12. And then in the Big 12, there was a time, and the years kind of blend together. But uh, uh, let's see, you had uh, you had Graham Harrell, you had uh, Sam Bradford, you had uh, uh, oh, you know Missouri, uh, Chase Daniel at Missouri. Uh, A&M, you had, uh, you know, then, then you had uh, 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 McCoy at uh, Texas, then you had, uh, well, actually, depending whether he blown his knee or not, you had uh, uh, Griffin at uh, Baylor, and then, uh, uh, anyway, now, uh, but to answer your question, I don't know that I've ever been around 10, you know, where there's 10. I mean, because we, we have 10 returners here, uh, all fairly impressive, and uh, I don't know that I've ever been around 10. And it is really, and the thing is, at that position, it being a core position that uh, the other players draw from, I think, uh, you know, it helps maintain the identity of these teams uh, so that they can build on it. So I think it, uh, you know, I think the conference already had a lot of depth to it, and from top to bottom was probably the strongest conference. Um, but I think the quarterbacks uh, add even more to it. Thank you. What have you been up to this summer besides a book tour? Have you been on a book tour? Uh, yeah, book tour. Uh, did a little of that. Wrote a book on Geronimo, Leadership Strategies of, uh, uh, of, of an American Warrior, which I, it's kind of been beneficial as far as the football effort because you're constantly thinking about you know, what's greatness, how to create it, how to prepare for it, you know, the mentality of it, which we went into, into some detail of that, uh, illustrated through uh, Geronimo's life. Uh, anyway, anybody that's interested in that, go to Amazon uh, uh, or Barnes & Noble, you can get it. And, and, it's, uh, and, and it's really a good book. And I learned, I'd already studied a lot, but I learned a lot uh, doing it. Then um, uh, my staff and I, uh, went fishing up in McCall, Idaho on the Snake River and got uh, a huge nine and a half foot, 350 pound sturgeon, probably 95 years old, and then of course turned him loose so that he could pull somebody else's boat around for a while next time. And then, uh, well, then my oldest daughter uh, had, a, had a granddaughter, and so we went to Atlanta for that. And then, uh, I uh, went to Florida for a little bit, and then uh, on my way back from uh, from here, uh, we go to Bristol, Connecticut to do more of the same. And on the way back from that, my second daughter's getting married in Tulsa, so we'll hit that, and then uh, uh, be home for several days and be off running for camp. Is your book required reading for your team during fall camp? It's probably a good idea. I mean, fall camp's not really the time to do that. The best time, uh, the best time uh, to do that, and one, one book that I read a lot, there's a book called Wooden by Steve Jameson, and I have kind of key players that I thought uh, uh, that you know that were thinking about too much. I have made that required reading for some of them, but the best time for required reading is uh, is kind of that January off season period because if you're doing too much, then you know, it just gets, uh, you know, you got academics going, the heat of the season. So, uh, the January off season is when I, uh, uh, they put them on that path. You beat Auburn, or you beat close to beating Auburn on the road, you beat USC. Is it unreasonable to have a 
have an expectation of winning the pac yourself? Well, I've never thought that was uh, uh, that was uh, unrealistic. Just from the standpoint, I wouldn't be here if, if I thought it was. Um, you know, the biggest thing though is, is you've got to worry about the day-to-day -day stuff. You know, just improve each day, one day to the next. You know, uh, win one game a week. But this winning one game a week, uh, you know, involves get better every day, uh, 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 play the next play. Uh, you know. Uh, uh, and those type of things, and and, uh, and you know, it's just a series of next plays uh, put together. And if, if everybody maximizes their ability and builds on that over and over, and then you synchronize it cohesively as a team, then the team will take care of itself. So, what would be the team goal this year? Uh, I mean, there, I guess there's a lot, but win one game a week. How about that? Okay. You guys are staying longer in Lewiston this year? Uh, yeah, I think two days, maybe. I'm not sure. I mean, that, that somebody has the answer to that. That's not some secret hidden thing. I think it's two days longer, though. You want to keep that or the recurring thing? It seemed like you liked it last Yeah, year. I thought it was good. I thought it was very good to get back to the basics, the fundamentals. Our, our team gets to you know, be in uh, dorms together where, uh, you know, on campus they're scattered around. They get to be in the dorms together and then uh, also uh, uh, the food's really good, but it's kind of old school. You know, we take yellow school buses to uh, to the middle school and practice on uh, basically uh, the type of practice field they all grew up on and uh, develop our fundamental skills. On the bowl game from last year, how much have you been able to digest that? Kind of learn from that, or did you worry about take anything from that? Well, it's the first uh, bowl uh, they've gone into, gone to for 10 or 12 years. I think it cracks the door open on what our potential is. And then, you know, and, 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 you know, the biggest thing we need to do is do the same things over and over again, just do it a little better. And, uh, you know, I think our entire team thinks our season overall could have been better. Uh, and, uh, you know, so now we need to take all the things we learned from last year and the where can Connor make bigger strides? Uh, the biggest thing, I think, um, you know, and he's he's a very talented guy, and he's uh, he's steadily improved, uh, and, and 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 with uh, with a, a, a young uh, a young supporting cast, ended up uh, fourth in the country in passing. So, you know, clearly he's one of the best quarterbacks in the entire nation, despite uh, the debates and media bases and. You know, wherever you're, you're from, you might be rooting for your guy. I don't really care what you think. He's better than your guy is. Um, but, uh, uh, and, and I think that um, the biggest thing is we've got all our receivers back. Uh, we're not going to have the smallest O-line in the league this year. We're going to average about 310, be a little more athletic. Now we're going to be, we're going to have uh, three redshirt freshmen starting, but uh, we're going to be bigger and more athletic. And then... But I think the biggest thing is the more they play together and they get used to what the guy next to them is doing and, and where, where you really multiply your efforts is where uh, you have guys that have started some games, played a couple seasons, and then in the back of the line between reps, the older guys can work with the young guys. And so you have more voices reinforcing what you're doing and what you're trying to coach. And that helps things take off, you know, because by... Uh, you know, the most important role that he has is to make the players around him better. And the more uh, he knows the players around him and they know him, uh, the easier that is. So I think that will be uh, really the biggest improvement. Is there a position group on offense that you really feel like needs to kind of prove yourself in the ball? Well, I, I think the biggest would be offensive line because they're new faces. But they had, you know, they had a, a really good spring, and they're they're getting better all the time. Uh, they don't have uh, a ton of game reps, but they're big, athletic people, and, uh, and so there'll be some growing pains. But I, I uh, but they are a talented group, and we're excited to uh, bring them out this year. Are you surprised to see either Austin or Tyler transfer? Uh, no, not stunned. I mean, uh, you know, anytime you're in a competitive situation, you know, there's going to be people rise up. But, uh, you know, the biggest thing is, is uh, uh, Luke Falk had a great uh, offseason in spring, and, and that's just a byproduct of that. Everybody's trying to find their space and their place where they can play. And, and, uh, and so, you know, Luke did a tremendous job.
you so you comfortable going into the season with, with Luke as your backup? Oh, no question. You know, I mean, in any case, no matter what happens, you try to keep it competitive. But, uh, you know, at that position, you know, you play eight receivers, you play one quarterback. So, I mean, uh, from that standpoint, it's, uh, you know, there's sort of limited space. And that happens. That, I mean, it happens everywhere. How do you feel about the four-year scholarship? Well, I think they should have done a long time ago. I mean, one, uh, or, or, you know, if you mean the, the five, I run wrong, wrong notion in my head. I thought you meant uh, five years of eligibility is what I was thinking. Uh, Offering a recruit a four-year scholarship instead of renewing the one year? No, I like renewing the one year. I mean, Why? Well, because, uh, I, I mean, if, if, they, if they don't behave, if they don't uh, hold the team line up to your standards, I think it's, uh, you, should, you should have the leeway. It's funny, I mean... You know, with all this dialogue on make everybody a professional and stuff like that, you know, I mean, uh, which I, I don't know what side of that coin you're on, and the thing is, is there's like 900 sides to that coin, uh, and I think that's the problem right now, but um, uh, no, I think uh, you should have to perform each year, and if you do, you renew your scholarship, but there's been very few scholarships in history I haven't renewed. You know, other than and right on the papers it says felony, you get kicked out of school, obviously, but I mean, you're getting a scholarship for what? For being a wholesome prisoner. I mean, that'd be a little difficult. But, uh, Mike, how? The next step, um, you mentioned kind of the natural improvement of the young receivers, but where do you want to see him develop? Just keep doing the same things over and over, do it better, and uh, just keep working. And as he works with them, uh, you know, they're, uh, you know, and they become familiar with each other, they'll get better and better uh, at work with you. Mike, on that quarterback situation, do you have to accelerate things for fall just in, in case? Or, or not really. Uh, uh, not really. I mean, it gives us less depth, but it clarifies things. Then you're not dealing with the reps, really. You know, where before it's going to be, uh, they compete for it, deal with the reps, makes it. Uh, uh, so he will get more reps as a result of that. So that, that's the, 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 the negative is, is we have less depth. The positive is, is he'll end up with more reps as a result. Because of Peyton's time in the air raid in high school, do you think he has a shot to maybe come and challenge Paul for that backup spot? We'll find out. Yeah, we'll find out. Uh, Peyton's a very smart individual. Uh, ball comes off his hand really good. Uh, very accurate. Great feet. Uh, getting bigger. You know, I just, I mean, like every time I see him, he's grown more. Uh, and his dad's a pretty big guy, too. So, yeah, we're excited about it. Is the air raid he ran in high school, is that pretty similar to what you guys run, or is, or is it a variation? Yeah, pretty similar. Uh, yeah, there are, everything's a variation, but yeah, pretty similar. Like you guys, like a lot of schools here in the Pac-12 recruit the LA area very well and heavily. Yeah. Uh,